Today we're gonna use Houdini and Unreal Engine 5 to do this. Don't play with my heart. Just let me go. Please let me go. You like to love wow. I love it. it this is emitting too much, you of course. To open skies, and then you blame it on me. All that coming up. Hi everyone, this is Dyson. My pleasure to be here. And today I got inspired by this one. You see, that's so amazing. Wow. And the main thing catch my attention is this particle rebreath on the collision. Wow. I love it. So that's made me wonder how can I achieve that in Houdini and render that in Unreal Engine 5. The particle in Unreal Engine 5. That will be interesting. So I tried a couple approach and let's find out what's happened. And it's worth to mention on my Patreon, I have all the project file and exclusive tutorial VFX tutorial. You can check it there. And if you like this kind of video, please hit the like button and subscribe for more content. Let's hit it. Okay, let's begin with the first approach. Honestly, this is a reasonable approach to do it. Let's begin with this sphere. We're gonna use a RBD bullet solver for that. And we're gonna turn this sphere to the pieces uh, using RBD material fracture, of course, and bring the constraint strength, the strength uh, down, sorry. And of course, we're gonna apply custom force to it. You see? The big issue with that, we, we don't have any control by this emit RBD. You see, this is emitting too much, of course, and this is so expensive to do. So let's see another approach. Okay, let's try another approach here. First, let's create this add node. I want just one point. I want to show you something, you see, there is the point here. Let me show you with vellum grain configuration. Let's make it larger point here. Cool. Now let's create a vellum solver. Cool. Let's enable the ground plane and voila. That's our simulation. So I want to hit the ground and shattered particle. For that, we have pop replicate or replication. Let me show you here. Yeah, you see that we have this handy node. It will replicate the particle based on condition. You see that? If I hit the play, it will replicate based on this number here. Let's bring it down. Okay, maybe. Let's have impulse one. You see that? It's going to be crazy. Okay, now you see we have this particle. I want to tell him if the particle hit the ground, then replicate this particle. To do that, we have this handy collision detect here. Oops, not this one, I guess. The pop collision detect. That's cool. Let me show you here. You see, when he hit the ground, it will turn to red. Let's uh, leave that by default here. And we have these attributes, you see, uh, total hit. We're going to use that. Let me show you that first. Let's go to develop object and let's go to geometry. You see that we have this handy attribute. This is so messy. Let's filter that with this. Uh, hit phrase here you see we have this hit num we're not going to use that rather but you're gonna use this uh, hit total you see that will calculate uh, the, the number of this hit here so let's disable this default attribute we don't need that of course we can group this particle based on hit in this one, let's have a group, for instance, GG. And now let's have a pop replica. 
and this is the group and you see that's cool but it will be crazy again you see that we're gonna fix that you see that's because the group is preserve every frame you see if we are killed the original one we're gonna have this weird effect so for that uh, we need a pop group let me show you here and in this one in this vex expression first let's have a base group and let's have uh, another pp as a group and you see in this one in group if one all the particle will be in that group if zero the, uh, the group will be empty you see that we have this awesome example expression thank you for uh, thank you side effects for this guidance so our expression will be at sign hit total if equal to one that's mean if particle hit the ground that will be the replica you see that let me show you in the spreadsheet what's happened here you see if total hit trigger to one so that will be replica and for two and three is not going to replicate that because the condition is not fulfilled of course we have awesome setting in pop replica you see we have this kill the source and this pulse option you see the source is uh, destroy or killed and this is a new particle this file you see that we can have a more particle that's awesome effect and honestly I love this note I didn't know much about it but now I will use it a lot okay of course we have some noise and attribute we can uh, uh, have a velocity and add a velocity of course and we can uh, copy all the attribute you see that and we have this parameter to simulate explosion effect you see uh, and yeah this parameter will help us a lot and that's cool you see that yeah maybe this one yeah it's awesome and handy okay in order to have a stream of this particle we need a vellum source here of course and let's select our vellum grain configuration on the sub level and copy all that and in this one we change that to each frame you see that's awesome that's the kind of control I talk about earlier we need to take control of this streaming particle that's awesome and of course we have this error that's because we have duplicated ID okay we're gonna disable this one in the pop replica and boom everything now working love it and cool and straightforward with vellum solver of course we can uh, change the source and see the different simulation and it's worth to mention in, in pop replica we have this life uh, option we can set it based on second fps you can uh, see it here of your project and now will last in five seconds maybe let's make it one second that's mean 24 uh, frame and that's so handy we're gonna use that in our uh, final effect okay this is our final version this is available on my patreon of course we have this bike this is included in a project file in our patreon and we have this ground plane as a collision and i have these two circle sliced up and of course with this rotation 
I have this expression to move the pivot in the center of these circles and we have this expression to animate them that's straightforward make that a point calculate the velocity and some noises blah 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 and we have this grain configuration and I have this each sub step you see that let me show you and we have this simulation awesome you see that if you want more particle of course you can have it on each sub step and you can increase the sub step on the uh, vellum solver and you see that it's emitting more particle per frame you see and of course i change the p scale and of course I copy all this point to the sphere because Unreal does not accept just particle and yeah all that is available on my Patreon and we will export that as a Lambic. Okay let's fire up Unreal Engine 5.3 and let's go to the film and video live event ray tracing enable and let's have a project name okay now we are in RL engine let's import our alembic file you see we have this is our file let's change that to cache point and we are gonna import the velocity and this rotation headache let me enable that and let's see if I have a luck with this rotation and let's have a sequence to see the animation of course let's enable geometry cache on this object okay let's uh, place that quickly here okay that's cool and this is our particle and of course let's have a folder and we're gonna import the bike cool let me combine this mesh here i wanna have a single mesh not the messy mesh here okay of course we have all the material and let's import our bike here and let's align it with the particle okay now let's delete this default object or light in unreal and let's have this hdri backdrop and i love that let's delete maybe this flow we don't need that and this uh, H default hdri is not working for me i want a sunrise uh, mood let's see that you see we have uh, more light here that's why let's import our hdri here quickly and i download that and let's uh, import it in hdri backdrop you see i love this hdri and i dig it now let's create a material for the particle let's name that a light and let's have a constant vector 4 aka color and let's connect it to the emission and let's make it bright for now and let's save i don't need to create instance from it and let's assign that cool we have this shiny particle let's go to the path tracing honestly i love what the epic doing here you see between lumen or lit and uh, path tracing it's uh, we don't have any uh, much different and of course uh, we're gonna see lumen improving version by version and i have this cool color and let's have post processing volume unbound check and we're gonna have a motion vector here motion blow let me see that you see this is awesome you can see it in the viewport i love it 
okay of course the scale of the particle is not working for us let's uh, disable, uh, decrease that sorry and I deleted some attributes to have a small alembic file because Houdini have hard time to import big alembic file you see we need a little bit bigger okay save and re-import fast forward and yeah I guess this is working for me but the light is not let's increase this particle light okay you see we don't have much light here okay maybe yeah let's go to the material here okay and let's have 10 for instance you see that's lovely and you can have this awesome emission by this material okay we are in path tracing mode and i love the look i got here and yeah i dig it so now let's have a test render and let's see what's happened let's go to the apple pro res for the mov clip and let's have anti-aliasing and yeah yeah that's not bad i i want to see the uh, result quickly okay and let's fast forward boom it's done let me show you the final result okay let's play cool all that motion vector you see so long story short i create the shot and animate this camera and of course i adjust this focus setting you see that and i love it let's go with lit or lumen i love this one you see it will give me a result but the path tracing it will take uh, longer so let's have uh, more anti racing and we're gonna see we're gonna have these 20 hundred fps because i need a slow motion of this one and yeah let's go with apple prores i'm not going to do more color correction or anything else so and with that this is the result and you see i love it and thank you all side effects and epic to make this happen and yeah i see you in the next one goodbye